Speaking of, we like to hear what you actor types do when you're not on set. You're very passionate about heritage and you're a heritage activist. What have you got to Absolutely. talk about Absolutely. I'm very proud to be a part mm. of a team uh, head by, headed by the indefatigable uh, Suzette Mead. Um, to save our, our buildings, uh, our heritage buildings. We're concerned about a tsunami of heritage destruction that's uh, moving west towards Parramatta. You can see there, that's the Royal Oak Hotel. That was 207 years old. That building was older than Perth. It was publican, the publican was a first fleeter. He was on the mm. first boat to arrive in Australia. And if that isn't a piece of heritage worth saving, I don't know what is. It breaks my heart to see this footage when the government moved in in the middle of the night and tore it down. And I, we don't even have access to the convict made bricks. We're not even allowed to say where, where the bricks are now. Is that right? I yeah. thought the, the, even governments were protective of No, that. a responsible government would do all it possibly could to save these buildings. And moving right along on the tsunami oh. tidal wave is Willow Grove, the, this building here. Don't tell me that's under threat. 1870, now stands naked before the bulldozer's blade. In 20 days, that's going to be in a rubbish bin. And I'm disgusted by it and I'm not the only one. In the year we mourn the, the great Jack Mundy for what he did to this nation, and, and when we had acres of uh, column space dedicated to his wonderful job in, in saving our heritage, the year he dies, this business happens in Western Sydney. And that doesn't have to go. Willow Grove's 1870s Italianette building, which was a maternity hospital. A third of the population of Parramatta was born in that building. And there's absolutely no reason why it should go. And I weep at the thought of us losing these irreplaceable buildings. So you've, the, got, you've got 20 days to save it? 20 days. Maybe you should start a campaign and wow. do a countdown. That's 1918. I know awful. I'm pushing it here. Yeah. You know what? Are they are they knocking it down to put up a, a museum apartment block um, to, for the for the powerhouse museum? And just click oh. 900 metres down the road, we've got what is arguably the most important heritage site on the na white heritage yeah. site on the nation's shores. This is about to be impaled by oh. a a metro line. This is the oldest and most beautiful. This is Norfolk Island history and architecture in the heart of Sydney. It's the rocks in the heart of Sydney. It's Macquarie Harbour, that history, that architecture in the heart of Sydney. We are blessed to have this. And, and it's work in history. You can walk through it. You can open the doors. Look at that. And now they're going to cut down 2,600 trees and put a train line through the centre of it. It's madness. What's that site, Shane? What is it? That is, that's the Fleet Street or the Cumberland Hospital Heritage Centre. Wow. It is wow. truly unique and irreplaceable. These sites should be embraced by our government. They should pull them into their hearts and mm. reinterpret them and celebrate the fact they, that we they have They should them. be working that museum around that this, piece of history. Precisely. What, you can't be knocking down history to put a museum up. To put history up. in it, yes. This, this should be the Museum <laughs> of New South Wales. New yeah. South Wales is the only state that doesn't have a state museum. The Premier State doesn't have it. And what a, what a great thing to have here where we can walk through history and celebrate it without destroying it. Well, the campaign would be very, very happy to have your indefatigable voice <laughs> on that. <laughs> uh, Thank you, great, Shane. great stuff. Well said. Beautifully yeah. said. Lovely great, to talk to you this pleasure. morning.